Hi, sweet friends. Welcome back. Today, we are headed to Hobby Lobby. We're going to do some shopping and then we'll head back here and I'll share with you a haul of the items that I got as well as some styling ideas for those items. If you're looking forward to today's video, go ahead, give me a big thumbs up. And if you are new, my name is Amy and welcome to Simply Our Home. If you enjoy what you see today, I hope you'll consider subscribing before you go. Well, let's go ahead and head to Hobby Lobby. I hope you enjoy. Hobby Lobby is one of my favorite home decor stores to shop. They are incorporating much more high-end looking items at a much budget friendlier price point. I'll do my best to share my favorite items along with styling tips and tricks as we navigate through the store. Right out of the gate, this spring and summer setup caught my attention. As temperatures warm, a new front door mat is an easy way to refresh your space. These two neutral designs coming in at just under 15 are two great options. And this wooden wagon filled with colorful florals right next to your front door would be a perfect welcoming addition. Now, as we come into the store, I wanted to head right back to the floral vases. This is an area that is often overlooked, but I have found many quality high-end dupes scattered throughout. Like these seagrass vases, they resemble the ones sold from Serena and Lily, but at a fraction of the cost. Adding natural pieces like these to any tabletop surface instantly creates a sense of warmth that is perfect for spring and summer. Now take a look at these next two vessels. They resemble this Pottery Barn vase at a much lower price point. Remember, Hobby Lobby typically rotates between wall and table decor, discounted at 50% off, unless it is a yellow ticketed item. So all the prices that I'm sharing with you today are with that additional savings. So just make sure to check out the sale rotation online before heading to the store so you know exactly what is 50% off that week. I love adding pieces like these next ones. They're very rustic, heavy, solid pieces. And at these prices, you really can't beat them. If you remember in my master bedroom makeover, I picked up this last piece to add to our nightstands. I did remove the glass cylinder and replace it with a twisted taper candle, which added a perfect ambient lighting at night and just a unique piece to add to our nightstand. Also, in this back section, don't forget to check out that bottom row. There are several large quality vessels that are super trendy right now. Many designers are incorporating them into their spaces for a dramatic effect, especially on table centerpieces and entryway consoles. Now let's head over to Hobby Lobby's seasonal flowers and bushes. As you can see, they have quite a variety to choose from, so you really can't go wrong. Here are two of my favorites from this section. I like more neutral varieties, ones with white, smaller flowers, and also greenery that has lots of multiple shades for a more realistic look. I love the neutral color of this one, plus it looked like it had been dried, and so you won't have the messiness of those dried florals, but you'll still get that beautiful look. They also have smaller greenery bundles, which I personally love to add to vessels and among vignettes to really make them come alive. Not to mention, they have even larger bush stems that you can use all year long for everyday styling. So let's just browse this area and take a look at some of the beautiful greenery they have in store for us. And as I mentioned, dried florals are one of my favorites. Now the mess that they create is not, but some of these florals here in Hobby Lobby have been discounted. Definitely look there before buying elsewhere because they can. you can sometimes find really great dried florals that can really last all year long. So 
So now let's talk about Hobby Lobby's wall art. I personally check out their pieces first when I'm looking to change or update my space. They have so many sizes and choices, all at great prices. Many smaller ones are scattered amongst coordinating tabletop decor in the center table rounds, while larger art is located just behind that with a ton of variety. This one here is one of my favorites. I absolutely love the soft muted colors of the landscaped art. This would be perfect for spring or right into summer as are all of these really. Also, if you're looking for botanical prints, Hobby Lobby will not disappoint. Designers have set the stage this spring by using botanical prints styled throughout their spaces. Like these ones sold on McGee & Co, Hobby Lobby has similar ones at just a fraction of the cost. Also, wall baskets and hangings are super popular, and this one right here, although smaller, is a dupe for one that I spotted on Crate and Barrel for a much cheaper price, don't you think? So now let's head back over to the spring shop. Now I spotted this really beautiful planter. I love the rattan basket on this, and it reminded me of one I had seen on Wayfair at a discounted price, but even with their discounted price, it can't compare to these prices. They also had it in a shorter version, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. Here is another planter that really caught my eye. I thought it had a very high-end look. It was $69.99 before the 40% off discount, but I love that it is a plastic material, so it's really going to be good in the elements. So if you have an open area, I think these would look gorgeous. And they also had that in three different heights, which would look really great as a set of three. Priced at just under 15, here are a few of my favorites in their outdoor mats. I think they are really pretty and as the temperature's warm, we are probably on the hunt for a front door mat, which I think these are perfect. They also had a variety of different outdoor pillows. I thought this one was really nice. It had a high end look, did come with a zipper so you could take it off and replace it. And they also had some really cute cottagey looking pillows as well. And not to mention they have tons of different pillow options and different colors that you could definitely refresh your spaces with. I'll be refreshing our front porch come real soon so be on the lookout for that one and I'm excited to get outside plant some flowers and just refresh our spaces. And speaking of planting here is a variety of different wall planters. I think this would look great on a siding with the wall hooks and then they also had like the planter boxes that you can place underneath of your windows. They had this wicker version which is more of a tan and then they also had it in a gray version which I think would hold up really well. To brighten up your outdoor spaces you could definitely use some of these metal flowers. I think these are so cute. You could actually use them on siding maybe on hooks and I think it would look really cute with a variety of them and it would look so cheerful they had lots of different options for just ground stakes they have some welcome signs they have some colorful ones like a more beach looking one here as well as a more rustic cottagey farmhouse look that says welcome here. They have some porch boards and just lots of different options to stroll and look down this aisle for just a very cheerful, happy presentation to your outdoor spaces. Also down this aisle, they have an array of barbecue items, camping, entertainment, and lots of fun spring and summer entertaining must-haves here in the spring shop. Now, I did do an earlier spring shop shop with me, so if you happen to miss that one, I can go ahead and link that up here, but I think many of these items here would make great Father's Day gifts, like this mug set or even this stackable mug set. 
And then for Mother's Day, how adorable would any of these bright, cheerful sunflower items be as a gift? If you haven't visited Hobby Lobby recently, you may be surprised of their new section in their spring shop, which is dedicated to updating and making your bathrooms look more spa-like and luxurious. They have shower curtains, they have lots of packs of towels and washcloths, all in different colors, and the quality and softness is really nice. So I'll just go ahead and just let you kind of look down the aisle along with me and I'll point out anything that I think is a great deal. As far as their colors go, you do have a little bit of a choice. They go with the classic white. Then they also have the same items in a beautiful green, which I'm loving this spring. They have a beautiful blue as well as gray. And all the items that you can get in that color family are in all of those. But I just thought all of their towels were super soft. They also had mats and each bath set is really complete and would finish off a remodel or just a refresh of any bathroom. Now here down on the bottom shelf, they have lots of different bathroom waste basket options. Many of them are very high quality. They had these wood ones, which are very spa-like. They remind me of ones that I've seen on cruises that we've taken. Also the quality and price point, once that 40% off discount, I think you're getting a great deal. This one was my favorite. I think adding just wood elements to a bathroom really just warms it up and gives it a little bit more of a soft look. They also had some ceramic options and also rattan. So lots of beautiful waste basket options for your bathrooms. And you can really mix and match all of these styles, or you could go with one specific look and carry that throughout your space. To create that spa-like feel, they have some spa signs that you could do a tiered tray. They have smaller signs, no kids allowed, relax, refresh, renew, mommy time. And then, like I said, they have lots of these quality wooden pieces. This would look great on the back of a toilet tank, maybe with a few stamped toilet paper rolls. And then they have all the coordinating pieces that you would need to maybe stuff in some cotton balls or just corral some of your bathroom essentials. So I love that they all mix and match and look really high end. They have baskets and lots of containers for storage. They have lots of glass items. Again, you could put cotton balls or Q-tips. They have a lighter version here of just lots of different containers for storage. So I think that's always great for a bathroom. They have this that, that you can put over your bath um, to just maybe put a drink and maybe read. So lots of spa-like features. And like I said, here is the robe. I was really surprised with that along with these uh, slippers. They were super soft and it looks like they come in just small, medium or medium large. They also had lots of spa necessities, things to pamper yourself with. So uh, lots of things to look at down this aisle, very new to Hobby Lobby. So we'll take a look at these last items and then we'll head home and I'll share with you what I picked up. I 
All right, well, we've made it back home and I thought I would sit down with you and share some of the items that I picked up. I hope that you enjoyed the shopping portion and maybe saw some things that you haven't been able to see in your store or seen the high-end look that you can get for less at Hobby Lobby. So first today, you might recognize the first thing that I'm going to share, and that is this beautiful vessel. Now, I actually got this for our master bedroom makeover, and I liked it so much, I went back and I had to get another one. I love this. I think it is the perfect size to set on shelves or even on your countertops, and it actually looks a little different from the one upstairs, and so each one is unique. It is a little pricey at $55.99, but again, you get it at 50% off when table decor is on sale, and I just absolutely love it. It's, it has a lot of that clay pottery look that has a Tuscany look, and I just am drawn to all the pottery out there, and so I'm just kind of collecting as I go. So this was the first piece that I just had to have, and it just jumped right into the cart. Next, you know how I absolutely love birds. You actually see that here on this pillow behind me, but when I saw this cute little bird, I just had to have it. I thought it was so pretty. It'll look great in amongst maybe some candles or just a grouping of three. And so I just had to have this little guy. He was priced at $7.99. And again, when table top decor is on sale, you can get that at 50% off. All right, so up next, I wanted to share with you the different bushes and florals that I picked up. I'm trying to just refresh our space, but keep it neutral and have items that I can really use every day and throughout the whole year. So when I saw these, I thought they were really pretty. They're a nice size. I think they will look great in that vase that I just showed you. I'm thinking about styling that over on our countertops, but just a look at that beautiful greenery. It looks very springy because on the ends, it's a little bit lighter. And so it's a substantial piece for only $6.99. You can get that, I think, at 40% off or even 50. It kind of confused me because when I was in there, it said 40% off. And typically I thought that they went to 50. So you'll have to let me know if they've changed that or maybe I could have gotten them at 50% off, but I only got them at 40. But I just went ahead and picked up two. I think these are great pieces to just stuff in a vase and just add that pop of greenery wherever you need it in a vignette. Here is an art piece that I absolutely love. I think it is gorgeous. It's that still life type art that is super, super popular. I love the yellow and I love to bring in yellow, especially during the summer, especially with lemons. But I also just love the fruit that looks like it's tipped over. I think this is going to look great in our kitchen. I want to put this up against our backsplash. So the vase from Hobby Lobby, along with the fresh looking greenery, which is artificial, so I don't have to go over and water it. It'll look great all spring and summer long. And then I'm just going to add back in my cookie jar and that mortar and pestle for a beautiful arrangement here on our countertops. So I think this is going to really pop off and brighten up our countertops and really combine with both the dark and the light that we have going on in the kitchen. I love Hobby Lobby's artwork because I do like to switch and change up my artwork and, you know, change it from room to room and just adding pieces from Hobby Lobby just fits my budget. And so that is the place I go to when I'm shopping for just quality art at a discount price. So speaking of artwork, I saw this and I absolutely loved it. Again, it's bringing in some of that neutral type of decor with the flowers and look at the texture on this painting. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. It looks super high end. Now this one was $24.99, again, 50% off. 
I think a great deal. It does come in a black frame. And so what I'm hoping to do with this one is to incorporate it into our family room. I'd like to set it on a little picture folder and then prop it up beside of our lamp. And then in combination with that, I would like to change out the florals that we have on the opposite side. So instead of lavender, I'm kind of wanting to transition into more of a white neutral decor. And so these next florals, I absolutely love. They're a little bit cheaper than the ones I'll show you here in a second. They're $13.99, but look at how many and what a big bunch of flowers that you get. So I'm hoping to stick that in the target vase right beside our clock in our family room. And I think that's just going to make it look so beautiful and summer-like. I love just the different flowers on this and the leaves on it is so realistic. And speaking of realistic flowers, these are absolutely gorgeous. I believe they're hydrangeas. But just look at this, this is two bunches. Now they are pretty pricey, $18.99 at full price, but you can get that at 40% off or 50. And I just love these. But because they are so pricey, I went ahead and picked up the other ones for the other vessel in our family room. But for these, I'm thinking they would look really great right next to our front door. Currently, I have the basket that I found at an antique store. Now it came with this bunch of floral or grass, dried grass that's in it. And it kind of looks a little bit fallish. So I'm thinking of taking these and popping them inside. Only two, I think, makes a great impact because they are so large. I don't want it overflowing and making it hard to actually enter into our family room. But I think this peeking out on the corner and then as you scroll into the living room you'll be able to see the other flowers over in the vessel over next to the clock and it kind of just all combines and makes the room flow together so i just absolutely love that look now you all know how I love wooden pieces. Now I didn't pick up a cutting board, so you should be very proud of me, but today I went with this plant stand. I think it is so, so cute. I already took off the price tag, but I think it looks super antique. And of course not at the antique or upscale stores price. I think when you add these to your decor, you can put a candle or any type of other like vase on top and it really just makes it look intentional and purposeful so here at our entryway i'm hoping to place that there with a candle and a candle snuffer and right off the bat i think it just adds a welcoming just kind of lived in look right at our front door and that's exactly what i want i want our, our home to feel welcoming and collected and so i think this piece does the job really well i love wooden pieces because they're not going to be the same even if they are made and manufactured through hobby lobby each one is a little different because wood is different and i love that <laughs> all right and last but not least i have two other items now these are going to be going outside i'm getting really anxious to do some decorating on our front porch and i have just continually said this i am loving this color green and so when i saw this at hobby lobby it's a scatter rug i love that it is trimmed in just like this type of material here and I think I will layer it with the next piece, which I'll share with you, but it is 24 by 36. But again, I just absolutely love, love the color. And so that's what it looks like on the packaging. So for our front door mat, which will layer on top, I thought this one was a super cute, super neutral. Welcome to our porch. It can last all summer into fall if it, you know, withstands the elements and our dogs and dog hair. <laughs> and at just under $15, I love the size. It's just a little bit smaller than some of the ones that I have seen, but I think that's perfect for layering on top of scatter rug. And we don't have a ton of space in front of our front door, so this one will work perfectly. 
All right, sweet friends. Well, that wraps up today's video of some shopping, a haul and style. You'll have to let me know if you saw something in stores that you're ready to go and pick up. And if you enjoyed this style of video, let me know by giving me a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, I hope you would consider subscribing. Now, before we go, let's go ahead, grab our Bibles, and I'll share with you today's Bible verse, which comes from Psalm 34, verse 8. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. Well, friends, I hope that you did enjoy today's video. I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you real soon in my next one. Take care and God bless, friends. Bye.